Hi, I'm Kayla Dunbar. I'm Caitlin Warner. And I'm Kara Simon. We are studying speech, language, and hearing sciences at Purdue University. Today, we are going to show you how to program the Speak All app. Speak All is a therapy app for students with nonverbal autism or severe developmental disabilities. This is the Speak All app. Tap to open it. First, I will show you how to customize learner settings for individual learner profiles. Tap play. The learner settings can be accessed here and then also in administrator mode. The first learner setting is play mode. You can either use one touch or drag and drop. For learners with fine motor control difficulties, one touch may be a better option. When we enter this sentence strip, we see that we can tap one symbol I want. and it will automatically be moved down to the sentence strip. Chocolate. When you're finished, press done. For learners with better fine motor control, you may do drag and drop mode. Learners may then drag and drop individual symbols onto the sentence strip. Chocolate. The next learner setting I will show you is the activity order. When usage is turned on, the activity sheets are ordered according to which one is used the most. When clinician mode is turned on, they remain in the same spot that the clinician has placed them. Next, I will explain tile reset order. Right now, original is turned on. If we enter this activity and put the symbols down, I want chips. You will see that this button says return to original. If I press it, the symbols return to their original position. If I now turn on shuffled mode and do the same thing, I want chips. The button says return and shuffle. The symbols are no longer in their original position. This can be an advantage to make learners truly look at the symbols. Audio type lets you choose between pre-recorded speech and synthesized speech. When select other activities is turned off as it is now, I am locked into a single activity sheet, which is whichever one I press. When select other activities is turned on, I may switch between separate activity sheets. Also, when select other activities is turned on, the option for use activity cover comes up. If I turn that on, there is a tap to switch activity cover on top of the other activity sheets. Tap it, and you may then switch between activity sheets. When I turn on screen lock, the directions automatically appear. We recommend that you practice before actually entering an activity sheet with the screen lock on. I will demonstrate in an activity sheet. You will notice that the done button is no longer present in the upper right hand corner. So you must tap three times and then a lock will appear. Then make a reverse pinching gesture and the done button will appear and allow you to exit the activity sheet. This makes sure that learners cannot exit activity sheets while they are working. Once you have configured learner settings, you are ready to enter play mode by tapping on an activity sheet. To create sentences, select a symbol from the screen. I want chocolate. Speech output will play automatically. To speak the full sentence one more time, hit the speak all button. I want chocolate. To start a new sentence, hit the return button. To switch between activities, you can select another activity sheet at the top. Once the learner is ready to exit, select Done. To enter learner profile, select Administrator on the home page. Then in the bottom right hand corner, select Learner Profiles. With the premium version, you may select the Add button, in which a new profile for a new learner will appear. To edit a learner profile, you may select the learner profile you'd like to edit. Then you may edit the name, then select Save Name. 
or you may edit the picture by either selecting Take Photo or Pick Photo. On the Learner Profile, you may activate or deactivate activity sheets by tapping the check mark or the X. To review statistics, select the Statistics button on the right hand side. This shows how many times the activity and media items have been selected by the learner. To delete a learner profile, select Delete this profile, then select Yes. Now I will show you how to manage media collections. To enter media collections from home page, select Administrator button. Then in bottom right hand corner, select Media Collections. To add a media collection, select Add Collection. Enter a name for the new media collection. Once a new collection has been created, you may now add new media items. Now select Add. You will have the option to use an already existing photo or take a new one. For an example of an already existing photo, we will use a rice box. The rice box photo is already stored in the iPad photo collection. First, label the new item. Be sure to save the label name. Then select Pick Photo. Pick your desired photo and click on Use. To add audio to the symbol, click Record and say the item name. Rice Box. Play the audio back to double check. Rice Box. Now I will show you how to take your own photo for a new symbol. I will use a car as an example. First, click on the blue Add button. Then, label the new item. Be sure to save the label name. Now, click on the Take Photo button. Zoom the camera to your satisfaction and take photo. Select Use Photo. To record audio for the symbol, select Record and say the item name. Car. Play back the audio recording to be sure it is to your satisfaction. Car. Once you have finished adding symbols, you may move and copy symbols from one media collection to another. Highlight the symbol that you want to copy and then the media collection you wish to copy it to. Now hit move or copy and double check that the symbol has been transferred. Now I will show you how to add activity sheets. With the free version of Speak All, you are limited to two activity sheets. Upgrade to the premium version for an unlimited number of activity sheets. From the home page, select Administrator. Then press Add Activity in the lower left-hand corner. Name your new activity sheet. You have the option to rename your activity sheet here or to delete it here. The screen is split into two parts. Current items shows which media items are already in the activity sheet. Collection name shows the contents of media collection. To add a media item, select and drag it into current items. To delete an item, press and hold on the symbol and hit X. Select yes. You may also reorder the items by pressing and holding on an item, then drag. You may also change the media collection for more simple options by selecting Change Collection. Choose the collection you desire. 
Now we are ready for play mode. Return to the home page and hit play. Select an activity sheet and start communicating. Thank you for listening. This is Kayla Dunbar from Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences at Purdue University.